G'day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Extreme Flash Challenge for the Mortal Will Event. Now basically what this requires is this requires you to use one Extreme, one Super, one, well sorry, one Extreme AGL, one Extreme Tech, one Extreme Physical, one Extreme Int and one Extreme Strength. And basically you have to have these units in team and complete the stage with them. Now you can combine this with other challenges for the stage if you're able to. Uh, and obviously you can complete them all at once. For me, uh, I found that, you know, I was looking at ways to complete the challenge without necessarily having quite crucial units like Tech Samasu, for example. So I wanted to kind of get a feel for doing or running the team without him and also without using units like AGL Zamasu uh, who's really really strong. Now if you have the tech Zamasu you should use him because he is a very very good lead. He's got a 150% lead for extreme types, he's got an extra 30%. There's a lot that's going on and he can do a lot as well. So definitely don't you know just exclude them because you see me excluding him. You should be using the best units you can all the time. It's definitely something you should be doing uh, and not just optionally choosing. Now, in terms of this event, we're going to need to use two items. You'll probably have seen me use these before specifically for this event. Uh, but yeah, Whis and a Ghost Dusher. The reason why this combination of items is so potent for the event is because it allows us to kind of circumvent the int trunk phase firstly and it also allows us to circumvent the beginning of the physical phase and it's a pretty tough fight the jump between the int and the physical is also pretty tough to handle and trunk starts out really really strong so what we're going to do is instead we're going to circumvent these things and kind of bring them down to our level by using items. You can also use uh, support memories. Uh, the support memory I chose here was the Terrifying Conqueror's buff for two turns. Uh, but you can choose whichever one suits you. Uh, it just depends on the flavor of your team. Now, in terms of lead of the team, we're going with a Strength Final Form Cooler. Uh, for reasons that should be quite obvious, he leads the Terrifying Conqueror's category. He also provides a boost to um, transformation boost units and he's just going to be really helpful during the physical phase. The big thing is we can expend as many items as we need to get into the physical phase but Cooler is going to really have to take over at that point. He's going to have to really push himself, he's going to have to score all our damage and it's going to be quite crucial to determining how well we do. Uh, during any phase so obviously outside of that as well uh, so the double strength cool lead obviously very crucial uh, the a double active skills will be crucial the damage he does will be crucial everything is just going to be very important then we have the physical metal cooler uh, also a very very good unit uh, incredibly solid really really strong not the best defensively but we're specifically going to use him for his revive so once the items run out, uh, once we are essentially near the end, what we're going to do is we're actually just going to have Kula die, um, basically, to cut a long story short. We're going to have him die, we're going to have him be defeated, and then we're going to trigger the revive so we can push ourselves onto the next turn and score the final damage. Um, it's not always a brilliant tactic, but when it works out, it works out great. Next we have the Int Demon King Piccolo. Yeah, I don't think you need to know much about this guy to know that he's a great unit. One of the few Int units that can also stand the test against the physical trunks after only a couple supers. He doesn't need much more. He's really, really solid in that regard. And so, yeah, from that perspective, I would say he's really, really helpful. So for me, very very crucial uh, very very solid unit good damage as well and just really a very strong performance overall I think uh, he's one of those units that 
when you have him you realize how useful he is in so many situations because he's such a flexy unit you know he does great in second slot he does great in the third slot he can even do well in the first slot depending on conditions so he's really really good next we have a Ginyu force pairing we've got the strength raccoon and gildo just a really strong really really strong uh, first slot unit obviously using them predominantly to just soak damage uh, I think that's very very much you know the number one point of call uh, an incredibly strong unit to soak damage with and to just have set up the AGL Captain Ginyu who's going to be in the second slot. Now AGL Captain Ginyu is a great unit and he gets better with more Ginyu Force units on his team. The big thing with Captain Ginyu, uh, mine's only 55% but he can actually stack quite quickly due to how many super attacks he fires off. Just even Ginyu, like mine has no dupes but even Ginyu yeah, with dupes is still quite a strong test for him um, these units are starting to hit really hard so his starting points is starting to get lower and lower comparative and so his stacking is required to trigger more and more he's still very good transformation is still helpful he brings a heal as well when he transforms so there's still plenty that he brings um, so there's nothing wrong with Ginyu it's just that if you've got him at 55% you need to be a bit careful around him as you can see me doing as well and yeah, that's uh, pretty much it in terms of the team build. We rounded out the team. Uh, I decided this time to go with Great Ape Vegeta, um, which maybe surprises people. I uh, recently got a dupe in him. I quite like him. I um, think he lacks some linking partners that he really, really like to have. But I actually really like him. Uh, I think he's got like a good foundation. Uh, that you can work of, work off of as a flexi unit. You know, that ability for him to guard is very important. His defense going up big time from ultra super attacks is also very important. So we combine the two by having him float and prioritizing orbs when we need to. Uh, in the case of the situation where he could potentially take a lot of damage. But with that being said, uh, he just does a great job floating and everything tends to work out alright. So that's the team um, and the rotations and everything about it. Honestly, you know, looking at the event, looking back at the event, uh, I think for me, you know, the team ran well enough. There are some replacements, like you can, for example, replace the strength Kumin Gildo with a strength Kula if you want to. Uh, you can replace the AGL Captain Ginyu with a AGL Golden Freezer. Uh, you can replace the Int Demon King Piccolo, uh, I guess, with the Int, like, Jason Berta if you want to. And then you can probably, you know, replace Physical Metal Cooler with Physical Janemba. The only problem with using Physical Janemba is that he likes to be in the second slot for the first two turns. So that he can build up his full defense, um, or at least part of it. When you don't have that, then there is that situation kind of where it's like, okay, well, he's not going to have his full defense. He's going to get hit like an absolute mule, um, which isn't always great. By the way, you can see here the tactical revive, the tactical defeat, uh, and having you know, basically good old uh, metal cooler do his little revive and then we're ready to go we'll have the strength cooler uh, finish everything off so yeah like i said um yeah there are some adjustments you can do i think cooler's got some nice flexibility in that regard uh zamasu yeah is pretty good as well so you can definitely use zamasu if you want to uh, i toyed with the idea of a worldwide chaos team uh, but the physical options were quite weak um which wasn't top of my list. The physical options weren't so great on Worldwide Chaos. Um, with Zamasu you can circumvent that because Zamasu covers all extreme type units and plenty others so you can quite easily cover the physical slot and so then your team should be pretty good. But yeah that's uh, basically it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
If you did, please leave a like. It's greatly appreciated as always. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, of course, uh, take care, stay safe. If you have any questions, of course, you can shoot them to me in the comments uh, and I'll gladly take a look for you. But for now, that's basically going to be it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, take care, stay safe, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.